today we'll take a look at the backup how to make backup of your skin tech system right having the system installed set up properly right well, it's one thing now having the backup of the system in case something happened <laughs> that's something else um I'm in a drop ice right now. I went to option, backup scheduler, and here I'm, I have different type of backup. I have the data backup, archive, in and out, and video event. Those are the four different type of backup that we can we might need. Um, the data, that type of backup is where you have all your programming, site, connection, controller, user, access level, card, and all your programming are there, right? Uh, archive, that's the backup where all your event, right? Which means, let's say my system is running fine, something happened to the computer or the hard drive fail, if I have backup, all I have to do is get my computer back on track, install the Entrapass again, restore my backup. Now, if I do have the data backup, by restoring that, I will have all my programming. My system will be back on track after right away. If I have archive backup, after I restore the data, I will restore the archive. So I will be able to steal one report and see uh, who's accessed the system last week, last month, last year, depending on, you know, your archive backup. In and out, if I have my system set up for time and attendance, I can also want backup and have backup for my time and attendance or in and out. If I do have integration with CCTV, I have integration with video system, right? I can also make backup of my video event. When you have integration, you also have some, you know, where you can have video alarm linked to video. So fine, you can have also that type of backup. So if I do not have in and out, I mean, time and attendance, if I do not have video integration, so I don't need those two backup. However, I will surely need my data and archive. Now let's take a look at uh, the process to get your backup set up. Option, right? Backup scheduler. And here I have to check automatic backup. And the backup can be set to default folder or i can specify a folder now the default folder where do we find that it's on your c drive program file the kentech folder and then server ce or se or ge depending on which entropas you have but that's going to be server underscore the entropas and then you have a folder backup. And here you can see I have D-A-T-V, D for data, that's my data backup, I've just I've done that recently. A, archive backup, T, time and attendance, V for video, all right? Those are your, that's gonna be how your backup will look like. I can on get my backup done weekly. If I set weekly, I will just need to select the day and then I will have to set the hour. If I say monthly, I will just have to say which day of the month. It can be the first day of the month, you know. So you here you set up which day in the month and then the hour. Daily, same thing. I just check daily and set the hour so by doing okay now I'm gonna set my for weekly <laughs> all right and every Sunday 4 a.m. and that's it now 
I have my system set up properly. I have my backup set up. Now, if I want to do a backup now, which is the recommendation, right? Whenever you come to check your system, please take some minutes and get your backup done. So I will need to check now. Otherwise, I have to wait for some day 4 a.m. since I have it set for that day and time. So by saying now and I click OK, I have my data backup coming up. Yeah, I can do the same for the other backup. Now you see here it's saying read only. When, while you're doing the backup, the database switch to read only. Now it's changed back, which means my backup is done. If I come here, I will have one more backup. I had a D earlier, now I have another D. Yes. Okay. That's it. Pretty much done. One more thing. That happened, unfortunately, that happened. I have <laughs> we have system where backup has been made uh, uh, every Sunday for years, and one day the PC crashed and we still have issue. Why? Because no one at some time point of in time made a backup of the backup. <laughs> I mean a copy of the backup. So please you need to remember to come inside to get to your backup folder and make a copy of those. You know, not all of those, but take one data, one archive, one one of each, the latest one, and move it to a DVD, CD, or USB drive. So if something happened to your hard drive where the backup was being made, so at least you have a copy somewhere else, please. All right. I hope this video will be useful to you. Thank you for watching.